Traffic alert. Changes may be on the way to ease congestion at the beach, specifically at the Alabama Florida line, where the beachfront road goes from four lanes to two, and where hundreds of customers of the Florabama Lounge constantly cross the road to the parking lot. News 5's Haley Minow joined us now live with some possible solutions. Haley? Heavy traffic seemingly at all hours of the day has a lot of backup going on outside of Floribama Lounge and it's got a lot of owners or the owners here at Floribama trying to figure out what they're going to do to fix it. Take a look. At all hours. It's really busy. Cars zoom by Floribama. We just have a lot of traffic in general in this area. With a bar with the name Floribama, it doesn't take a genius to know creating a safer area for pedestrians and a lighter traffic flow takes collaboration from Florida and Alabama. Coming together for a solution became even more apparent in the last few months. We had a few service members hit by a car about six miles down Fernando Key at night, uh, and these are guys that. Um, you know, came to the Floribama, I think, had a great time, took a cab home safely, decided to walk down the road to a restaurant to eat dinner, and a guy ran off the road and hit him. The plans for improvements include better lighting, turning lanes, more crosswalks, just to name a few. The only issue we've had is time. And, and when we found all the solutions, peak season hit us, and so it was physically impossible to do the improvements. Until peak season comes to an end, Floribama hopes keeping Escambia County officers at the crosswalk will keep pedestrians safe. The police presence on the weekend is good for the crosswalk, so maybe more police presence. But we're committed to keeping those officers out there or somebody operating that crosswalk in all of our peak times going forward. Now, I'm a numbers person, so I decided to call the Florida Highway Patrol and ask them a little bit about some of the crashes that have happened here. So in the distance right here, we got, okay. So just in three-fourths of a mile outside of Floribama, in the past eight months or so, since January, there's been 10 crashes, and four of those 10 crashes have involved injury to the people outside of the cars or in the cars. Reporting live in Perdido Key, I'm Haley Minogue, News 5.